hopes and fears. What are these young people thinking about when it comes to hope and fear? I mean, they have all of the same like hopes and fears that, that we have. They have the hope that they're going to have an opportunity in a world that, you know, to them is like corrupt. Uh, they have fears of privacy, of there being no privacy. They have fears of, of everything being a scam. You know, that, so, which leads to trust, a lot of big trust issues. There's, because of the sheer uh, amount of information out there and the, the sheer amount of exchanging and of content, you know, there's, there's higher levels of anxiety. So there's, there's not necessarily a, a fear of, of mental health issues, but there's a, a, a massive increase in mental health issues. So, you know, you're talking about like anxieties on, on, on so many different levels. I'd say from the hopes standpoint is that, uh, I mean, many of them, I just feel just like they're, they're just young people, right? So they feel indestructible. But I think there's that hope that they'll be able to do something uh, unique, you, that hope to do something special, that hope that they're going to be able to kind of make their way up the, the chain of whatever that they're interested in and that there's gonna be um, a real true, I don't know, opportunity for them. Um, obviously that changes a lot when you're talking about you know, young adults, teenagers, and then tweens and kids. So uh, you know, the hope of a, of a kid and a tween is that you know, they're gonna have the best skins in Fortnite. Um, you know, but but if, you, if you look at that with a, with a, with a magnifying glass, you, you look at the hope of, being connected, yeah. the, the hope of, of belonging and, and being part of something bigger, yeah. right? So I think that as, as you know, all the, these themes are, are sort of commonalities, it, it you know, kind of comes down to that hope of being a part of something, being a belonging. Yeah.